Hi, it's Paris from Epic Reviews, and I'm going to show you some features that are available to program on your Honda Odyssey. Ready to set up the wallpaper here for this uh, information screen that will display instead of the information. And you can put up the five pictures into the car's computer memory to load as different wallpapers. All right, got some pictures of flowers here that my wife took that we want to put on as wallpaper in the, the multi-information system screen in the minivan. So to resize them, they had to be 1024 by 768. Right click on the picture, go to open with, paint. And there it is, extra large. So I go here to resize, pixels, and I want the size to be 1024 by 768. I change the horizontal to 1024. You'll notice the vertical changed right along with it to 768. That's because of this check next to maintain aspect ratio. So that works fine for our purposes. That's the exact sign we want. Say okay to that. Now you can see it's much smaller, but I've got to save it with this size. So up here, the little floppy disk symbol for save. Now I need to send them all to the root of the flash drive. And so when you put your flash drive into the computer, make a note of what drive letter it's assigned by the computer, the E drive, F drive, G drive. And you need to select your items. You can do them one by one, but it's easier. We just go to organize, select all, I'm going to right click, go to send to, and down here I have Patriot, which is the E drive, and that's the uh, Patriot brand flash drive that I have. So I'm going to basically send these pictures to my flash drive. What you need to do, and the steps I've just finished, is uh, getting your pictures onto a flash drive. You can go to your computer, make sure they're in the right format, which is bitmap or JPEG, make sure they're the right size, which is 1024 by 768 put them onto a flash drive, here's mine, and make sure they're on the root of the flash drive, not in a folder. Then you take your flash drive, and in the glove box here, you've got this little section, it's called USB, and there's this little cable on the end of it. You take your flash drive, you plug it into that. Come back over here to the display screen. You can now see the symbol up in the top right by Bluetooth. That little uh, three-prong symbol indicates there's a USB device connected that it can work with. So, down here at the buttons, we're going to look for Setup. Press Setup, which brings us up onto the screen. The one we're interested in is Wallpaper Setup. To access that, got to turn the big dial here. As we turn it, goes down the Wallpaper Setup. And then to select that, press the button here in the middle of the big wheel. Now we've got Choose Wallpaper, Delete Pictures, or Import Pictures from USB. That's what I want. So again, down to the wheel and turn it. We've selected import pictures from USB, press that button, and you can only import them one at a time. So the orange one, I'm going to import that first. It's highlighted, so I'll go to this button and push select. It is loading it. They're about 300k each, so bigger than standard JPEG, but might as well have some high-res photos showing on the wallpaper here. Hey, that looks pretty good. So they're asking if that's what you wanted, and that is. So I'm going to go down to the dial here and turn it to select OK, and then press the button in the middle of the dial. And that is now going to be saved. Now I'm going to put all five in, so now I'm going to scroll down, turn the wheel to the next selection, which is the pink picture, and I'm going to push the button in the middle to select that. And I guess what this does is it basically gives me a preview of it, so I can make sure that's the one I was looking for. They should all take about the same amount of time, because they're all about the same size. There we go, that's the pink one. Now if I didn't like it, I could leave it on cancel, hit the button here in the middle, and of course that would choose not to import that one, but I do want it. So I'm going to turn the dial, go to OK, press the button, and it's going to pull that picture in. So I'm going to do the other three pictures the same way, and then I'll pick up. All right, got all five pictures in there, shut the car off, disconnected my flash drive, and now I'm ready to set up a wallpaper for the screen. So I'll go down here, hit Setup, brings up these options, go to Wallpaper Setup by turning this and pressing it. Now I'm going to choose my wallpaper. So the first one is already selected, I hit the button in the middle of the big wheel. Uh, it calls it User Loaded 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, but it gives you the preview, so good enough. I like this last one with the mix of colors, I'm going to select that. So I've selected that. There's no uh, way to get back out of it. So you've got to come back down here and use the return button. And then return again. And return again. And now, if I go here to display, 
And up here, I choose wallpaper. So, limited uh, functionality, but I guess you could use it for different purposes. I mean, it does liven up the, in the gray interior of the car a little bit. 